Hey everyone, so how do we use the category research tool? So, first of all, uh, as you can see, we're watching the category research page. Uh, to come to this page, you go to the left menu and click here on this icon, category research. So as you can see, we have here the search bar, okay? And we have here the select category. Here we choose uh, the main category and here we can write either keyword or just the subcategory. Here in the filters, we have the listing type, the condition, brand new, brand new or used, the shipping location, price range, so uh, we can uh, filter by minimum price to maximum price, feedbacks, we can filter for minimum to maximum feedbacks, exclude phrases, exactly like in the product research tool, so we can decide if we want to filter out a specific products. For example, if we search for the smartphone uh, subcategory and we want to filter out iPhone, and the Google platform filter when you can decide between web searches and Google shopping. The category research tool is combined with the Google trend, so you can also see trends from, uh, Google, from uh, Google. So here is the filters in the search bar. When you scroll down, uh, you see uh, all the sub categories and main categories. Each box is a main category with their subcategories. When you click on more, it will open all the uh, subcategories. Here you can see the ranking, but the ranking you always have to remember doesn't mean a lot. You can always try all kind of uh, ranking and uh, decide if this is for you or not. This is based on what eBay uh, provides us. So let's see how do we use it. I will scroll down, I will go to cell phone and accessories and I will choose smart watches. As you can see, have only two stars. Okay, one time I click on the keyword here and it will automatically paste it in the search bar. Once it's pasted here, I will only click on search. And now uh, what gonna happen is Z gonna pull all the information, the broad information about this category and subcategory and we gonna display us also the Google Trends Analytics. So as you can see, we have the statistics, the sell to rate, active listings in this subcategory, sold items, total watchers, the successful listings rate, the average product price, and uh, the selected category we have uh, researched. Here down under the statistics, we can see the Google, um, the Google uh, trend box, and we can filter it from the last 12 months, to last to past five years, 60 days, and so on. You can also filter by date, by country, or by web searches or Google Shopping. Once you choose your filter, you can click update chart and it will update this chart again. On the left side here, we see related queries uh, for smartwatches. We can actually see uh, what Google suggests us as related. We can also change here to uh, raising. So we can see what, like, what is what is raising in the last uh, 12 months? What are the things that many people search in the last uh, 12 months? And based on that, we can get ideas for keywords, niches, and so on. And here in this graph, we can see the interest over time. Uh, you can see where you have peak, when you have no interest at all. And based on that, you can take decision if you're looking for trends. When I scroll down, I see the product uh, and seller's result. As you can see exactly like in the product research, we have the product, the seller box here. We can see the seller name. We can scan these sellers in one click from this button. We can see how many feedbacks you have and how many numbers of sales, lifetime sales. Here we can see the product information, picture, title, number of sales, number of watchers, selling price, and the location of the items. And also here we can compare the item in uh, Amazon or we can just click scan product and automatically scan it on the product research tool. Again, to see this flag where the seller comes from, you need to install the Zeek Booster. We will have another tutorial about it. So this is the category research tool. And uh, if you have more questions, you can always contact us in the chat. Thank you very much, guys, and have a nice day.